Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial for Cartoon Animator 4 on how to create your own virtual YouTuber or what they call VTuber with OBS software. So yes, I'm going to show you how you can use um, Cartoon Animator to animate your character with motion capture, and then how, how can I can I can chroma key that character out with the OBS software to later stream on YouTube, Twitch or whatever I'd like to use. Okay, so let's get to it. This is actually a pretty fun tutorial. The first thing I need is obviously my character. I've got Puff there, and uh, I need to connect my webcam to my character. So this is pretty quick. I have Motion Live 2D, Face 3D, Face 3D. That's the one that connects the webcam. I double click on Puff here. Make sure it's Face 3D body and for the face and body, great. And I think we're ready to go. Remember, we need to set zero pose. So I'm going to preview. Preview. <laughs> Space bar. Look straight at the camera with a neutral face. And zero pose. All right. And <laughs> we've got Puff. Yes. All right. So, yeah, let me just leave Puff on. So the next thing we need to do is I need to... Uh, I need a, a, a green screen in the background, right? So I'm going to go here to preferences. Hold up. Oh, wait. I need to stop my animation. Give me a second. I need to stop my animation. And I need to go to preferences. Uh, project settings, I'm sorry. And in here, I'm going to choose background color. And I need a, a bright green background. So I suggest you can use the second to write this one here, which would be the FF00 or 00. Click on OK, and that should be OK. Great. That's a nice, bright green screen. Second, I want to get rid of the grid. Now, to do this, there's two ways to, to do this. I can go to, I think it's preferences again. Yes, we go to preferences, and you see here it says show grid. I can uncheck this, or I could do it with my uh, hotkey, which I prefer for prefer, right? Control G for grid. Boom, it's off. Great. And we're ready. We've got our green screen. We have our grid off and we've got our guy puff. And we are ready to OBS this thing. So I'm gonna open the OBS software. And the first thing I need to do is go to sources. I need to choose what source I'm gonna bring this uh, the, 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 the streaming from. So I'm gonna add and I'm gonna do a window capture, all right? I can give this a name, just create new, just any name, okay. And now I have to select what panel I want to capture, what window. So in this, this example, it'll be a Cartoon Animator 4, my project here with Puff. Yes, we can see Puff, very nice. So I, if I'm a YouTuber, I would probably prefer to put my character on the bottom right Okay, um, and great, we're ready. But I need to crop him. There's several things I need to do. I need to crop my character, um, and I also need to chroma key him. So let's do one thing at a time. So this is the window capture we have, the source. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to click on filters here. Um, and then in filter, I'm going to add another. I'm going to select what kind of filter, just add. And I'm going to crop, okay? And then what kind of name for this filter? Just leave it as crop. And here we need to add some dimensions to this. So I can play around back and forth until I find the right one. But I did my homework. So I know the numbers. It'll be 100. Let's do 130. Let's do 100. And last one is 180. <laughs> nice. We got Mr. Puff there looking happy. All right, so that is for my crop, but we also need to chroma key him, right? We got that green, bright green in, uh, background for a reason. So I'm going to add another filter, and this one will be chroma key right there, second one. Okay, uh, what name? Just chroma key, it's easy to track. Ha <laughs> ha, and it does it automatically for me. The reason is because obviously the key color type is green here. So uh, OBS is designed for, by default, it has a bright green screen background. But obviously, if it doesn't work on the first one and you want to tweak it a bit, you can play with the similarity here. 
okay? Or the smoothness or what have you. So you can play around if you don't get the desired results on the first default. I'm just gonna click on default here, close, bring puff down. All right, but uh, we need to stream somewhere, right? I need a background and everything. So um, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that you're connected to your YouTube channel um, because we're gonna pull out data from that. So let me go to OBS here. Um, I need to add my browser. So in the sources, I'm going to click on add browser. I'm going to create a new browser and I need a URL for the browser that I want in the background. So this is very easy. I'm going to be streaming over uh, the Reillusion uh, YouTube channel. So bup, 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 hold up, hold up right there. URL. I'll paste that. And then for the width and the height, I have the, the dimensions. That would be a 920 by 1080. 1080. And that should bring in that source. Great. But where's Puff? Well, Puff is Puff is in the background. He's, a, he's in the layer in the back because he's in the window capture. So I'm going to select window capture, the first one. And I'm going to bring this up, layer it up. And there he is. All right, so we've got Puff, we've got our background. Now we need a streaming link, right? We need to stream this um, to somewhere. So the way that we do this is that in my OBS software, I go up to settings, file, settings, and then I'm gonna click on stream. And here I'm gonna choose the service. If I wanna stream on Twitch, on YouTube, Mixer, whatever. In my case, I wanna stream on YouTube. So I'll click on that. And then um, I need to stream, I need the stream key. So if you're already logged in to YouTube, um, just click on that link and this will bring me into my live dashboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way down here where it says server URL and the stream key. So I'm gonna reveal the stream key. I'm going to copy that, okay. And then I'm gonna go into my OBS and I'm going to paste and then click apply and okay. All right, so that should stream everything into YouTube. Um, and all I have to do now is stream. So in OBS, I'm going to click on start streaming. And if I go out to my YouTube channel, we're gonna see that it's going to say connected in a while. Give me one second. That should pop up. There we go. Start streaming. Give it a couple of seconds. And it's coming right now. <laughs> All right. I like that. It's got a little delay in it, but that's fine. Okay. So you could see that I'm streaming already. And what I need to do here is I'm going to copy the video URL. So I'm going to open another window here and I'll paste my link, and now we'll have my live stream. But there we go. We've got Puff now, and we're streaming directly on YouTube. All right, so that's it for this tutorial on how to create your own uh, YouTuber, your own virtual YouTuber, um, with the help of Cartoon Animator 4 and your webcam, and of course, OBS. All right, so that's it for this tutorial and stick around for further ones we're going to have later on. Okay, bye Puff.